Mm. Well, a winter weather advisory is still in effect tonight. And it wasn't just the Lakeshore counties that got hit by the storm. A lot to clean up in places like Waukesha and more snow in the forecast as well, John. Yeah, it certainly is. We do have these bands coming in off the lake. Uh, we should get another round of them coming in a little bit later on uh, this evening or early on tonight. Let's check out some of those snowfalls. They were huge with the lake effect snow band that settled over Sheboygan last night. S over 16 inches there. Cedar Grove at 15. Random Lake 13 and a half. Kenosha uh, just over a foot 11 inches in Racine. Milwaukee now at 9.3 inches they picked up another inch late uh, this afternoon and evening 25 inches of snow for the month of february it's the 10th snowiest february on record after we started this winter season with almost nothing west Dallas at eight uh, brookfield west bend also eight seven and a half burlington but much less as you get out to the west watertown at 3.2 we still have the winter weather advisory for the lakeshore counties until midnight tonight but everybody else is clear of any advisories we'll start with the snow now across the lake we're still watching bands coming from east to west a couple of snow showers you see a just small one in central uh, Sheboygan County. There are flurries though going on. The radar is having a tough time picking them up. Watch Viper radar. A lot of snow still coming across upper lower Michigan down from the north uh, east to the southwest. So again, we should see a few snow showers here uh, through the nighttime hours. And we're also looking at the satellite picture. This is a huge upper low out to the west. The surface low is right to the southeast of Detroit, but the big upper low has its influence all the way back through Iowa and Minnesota. Temperatures staying right around freezing. Those temperatures haven't budged much, right around 32 or 33 degrees in most locations. That's because of the winds off the lake and the clouds, and they won't go down very much with the clouds and the wind off the lake overnight tonight, only in the upper 20s or right around 30. Low passes uh, to the east over the next couple of days. We still have northeast winds. We have this little wind shift that comes through Thursday night that could also touch off a snow shower with the northeast winds continuing tomorrow. 32 Milwaukee, 33 Madison. 31 if you're going up towards Green Bay. Cloudy with flurries. North winds continue a little brisk. An overnight low of 27. Could see minor dustings of accumulations. Partly cloudy with flurries tomorrow and 32. Tomorrow night, mostly cloudy. A snow shower at 2 and 22 degrees. And on Friday, partly cloudy skies. Hopefully a little sunshine. A few flurries, though, could still be around. A high of 30. Well, we'll see more sunshine this weekend, but it gets colder. 26 for your high temperature on Saturday. 28 on Sunday, then a little bit of a warm up into next week. Tuesday snow looks insignificant at this time. In the morning hours, it's Ijenia Willie. What a doll. 30 <laughs> degrees small. at the lakeshore, 28 inland, a few flurries around the area. Hey, it's time to name our last finalist in our free groceries for a year contest. It's Josh Anderson, you have won a $100 Balustrary Sundance gift card. We will name the grand prize winner tomorrow night at 10. Big and night. We, yeah, we want to thank everyone who entered on Facebook this month. It's going to be exciting tomorrow. Thanks, <laughs> Happy person. Okay, thank you, John.